think there's a fine line between a company committing false advertising and a consumer committing stupidity. And sometimes the line's so thin, it's barely even there. Like, like it's one of those single strands of spiderweb floating in the wind. Feel it on your face for a second, and then it's just gone. But, but see, you're itchy for hours. Ruined your whole day. That's because it's a pretty fine line. So the fact that this game isn't even anything remotely close to what I expected... I mean, who, who's to blame for that? Is it the company that called this game Magnetic Soccer without having players made of liquid metal who can attract balls through the power of an attractive electric charge? Or is it me for expecting fucking T-1000 <laughs> attracting balls? It's Magnetic Soccer for the original Game Boy! <laughs> So obviously this game isn't anything like what I was expecting. I mean, I probably should have put two and two together, in retrospect. Freaking John Doggett, his pointy metal finger. Like, looking back on it, it makes sense. Magnetic soccer, well, of course that's foosball. And again, you, you don't really live your life expecting to ever see a video game version of foosball. Not unless you're some kind of prophet. Or some kind of loser. Because only some kind of loser would ever want a video game version of foosball. At least that's what I thought. See, I, I had no idea a video game version of foosball could be fun. See, because I'm not a prophet. I'm just, I'm just the guy on the box yelling things at passersby. It's just, there's a big difference. Repent, all ye Europeans, because this is, this is just the European release. But repent nonetheless, for when everyone goes home, but you still want to party, this is your savior, you big drunk. So you know foosball, also known as table soccer, also known as drunk Olympics? Yeah, that, that's magnetic soccer. Also, this one's on your Game Boy, and also it's magnetic. That's literally the entire game. And yet, I'm contractually obligated to film more time. Well, you, you think my job's easy. So you pick the CPU's difficulty level. It's like one to three. I have no idea if higher numbers mean harder or easier. I lost both ways, so does it even really matter? From there, it's Foosball City, which is a real place where everyone's happy and nothing gets done. Also, girls get in free, because that's how it works. And also, you blow most of your chances, and you rarely score. That applies to Foosball City and Magnetic Soccer. Don't get mad at me when you know it's true. So, in terms of the gameplay, uh... I mean, look, you're looking at it. It's Foosball. What do you, what do you want me to say about it? And if you're unfamiliar, uh, it works like this. Each row of your players is connected by a rod. You play by twisting those rods, which causes the rows to kick the ball. It's literally one of the most fun things ever. Although, actually, I'm, I'm actually more of a bubble hockey guy. Which is the same principle, only with hockey. And more strategy. And a bubble. The players live in a bubble! Freaking moops. Anyway, not, her, not sure who decided the world needs a foosball video game. But good job, because that was actually an awesome decision on your part. And I mean, it's almost impossible to beat the computer, but that's a metaphor for life. It's teaching us about the future. How many video games can do that? I got news for you, not many can. Least of all, the moops. So, if you have a friend who also has a Game Boy, and also has a copy of Magnetic Soccer, uh, and you know, and you have all the requisite connector cables and adapters and patience, it probably requires patience, but if you have all that stuff, then yeah, then you'll have the true optimal magnetic soccer experience, because this is best played with two players. Otherwise, you just, you just lose to the machine, Sarah Connor. Why, why don't you do some one-handed pull-ups over it? But see, that's the crazy thing about magnetic soccer. Even when you're losing, it's still kind of fun. It's just, you know, it's simple, retro. Very, very simple fun. You know, it's not much to look at, but it has that old school charm, you know? And the music's better than I expected. You can, you can do this special power shot by catching the ball and charging it up. Just watch out, because if, if you get in front of one of those, well, let's just say it's not a good idea for the old, for the old rods and balls. A oh, poor little magnetic guy. See, and that's the tragedy of being a little magnetic guy. Your balls attract other balls, phrasing. Anyway, I wouldn't say this is a must-have Game Boy game, but if you like sports games, or soccer, or getting drunk, well, you should, you should really just play foosball, because it's, like, the funnest thing ever. Better yet, bubble hockey, but in all other cases, magnetic soccer for the Game Boy will suffice. <laughs>